Hey Football Manager fans, um, we're on the Rangers series and we're playing Hibernian at home. Um, whew, <laughs> just trying to trying to pick a team here. Um, then we'll take Matt Polster out and put John Flanagan in. Um, Graham Dorans is coming back from injury now, thankfully. Um, so I've tried putting in people who are in great condition, in superb condition, uh, because we played Hibernian uh, <laughs> just two games ago, um, literally last week in the game, and we beat them 4-3. Um, as I remember it, we came from behind. Uh, we started winning through Jermaine Defoe, then Florian Canberry scored, Matt Matt. Mark McNulty scored straight after that to make it 2 1. And then Morelos scored, made it 2 2. And then Cambiri scored, made it 3 2 to them. And then I made a substitution, and Glenn Middleton came on and got two goals, and we won 4 3. Um, yeah, there we go. Borna Barisic and Glenn Middleton came on for Wallace and. Kent, I think. Um, Candace had a good game that day as well. Uh, so yeah, it was a tricky game. So I, I think, because of that, <laughs> I'm I'm gonna try and pick the fittest team that I've got. Um, it's pretty good. They used to play with each other. Gres does come in. He's, um, you know, he's really fit. He's not, not great, but he's improving. He's improving in training. Um, he's got a few good player traits, so he's come in. Um, Davis has come in. He's uh, he's improving his stats as well. As, there's a few physicals that are. Well, he's 33. That's why his physicals are going down. But footballing wise, um, he's improving in training, doing well. Uh, yeah. So um, I'm thinking we stick with this team maybe and just with Davis and Grez they're the only real changes because they're the fittest players um, so I and I remember being very attacking against them and we should have been uh, balanced I think yeah so um, what was the other thing we should have done a higher line transition target man in possession. This is all the stuff you don't see behind the scenes. Uh, uh, let's walk the ball into the box for the players. Um, low crosses because they're only small. Um, let's not play out of defence. Let's just... Uh, <laughs> yeah. Um, let's not pass it in space either. We gave the ball away quite a lot. And... Yeah. I think we're good. I think we're pretty good. Um, yeah, so we'll we'll start there and we'll see how we go. It's the second time we played them in a week in the league, and uh, <laughs> yeah, it's uh, it's going to be a good game. Dressing room. Hand over to the assistant. I need players come out the uh, tunnel. We'll be in blue today. And I remember Cambiri being quite a good player for them. And McNulty both from needing to be uh, closed down. Are the assistant given any? No. There's Agupong. Porteous. Aggie Pong again for them. Puts it in. Goldson gets it out. Our field's fouled by Cambiri. Um, the ball comes in from Gold. Oh, it's a scramble. Here's Cambiri. It's hit the post. Oh, Katic gets it out. Oh my god, boys. Show some passion. Get in this game. My God. Um, 
we could really do with winning today and closing the gap on Celtic and Aberdeen. Um, when could we not do with winning, to be honest? <laughs> Uh, Celtic are losing 2 0 to Aberdeen. Graham Shinney's got a second goal for them. So if we win this, we're going to 43. Um, uh oh. Defoe wants to come off. Um, okay, Kyle Lafferty. Looks like you're going to get a chance. Um. be a pressing forward so that's not good Aberdeen have gone 3-0 up against Celtic Gary Mackay Stevens scores for them boys push forward come on Jers come on pretend they're Celtic <laughs> they're playing in the same colours uh oh Ryan Gold Oh, McGregor keeps it out. Hogan gets it for them. Oh, it's a free kick to us. I thought we'd give a penalty away then. God, I took Jack and Candeus out of the team and I'm regretting it now. They might come on. Um, right, shall we get aggressive with them? This is a great opportunity to show all the pundits that they have been right to back you up. Uh, okay, let's try that. Ugh. Um. Let's see. I think with our midfield, I want to say. Um, A lot more to come from you. And the same with the attack. Looking for you to make the difference. There you go, okay. Okay, good responses. Let's leave the defence out of it. We don't want to get like a negative uh, thing out of them. A negative response. Let's go more positive now. And let's push forward. Here we are, Tavernier, to our field, plays it to Davis, Kent, oh, top right bin, get in that top right corner, oh, that's a relief, Ryan Kent, his ninth goal of the season, set up by Steve Davis, Stephen Davis there, collects it from our field, just nice little ball to Kent, wraps his foot round it, finds the top right hand corner, oh, that took the pressure off. Gresda's not playing well, he's 6.5. Um, yeah, let's see what happens to Vernier. Oh, Gresda heads it, and then is that Alfredo Morelos? I thought Gresda had scored, but I think he hit a post. It's 2 0 to Rangers. We've got a bit more positive and pushed up on him now. There's Tavernier. There he is Gresda, it's crossbar. And then Morelos, he's in amongst three defenders there, and get something on it. 2-0. Oh, thankfully. Well, I'm kind of looking at the league table and it's looking a lot better. Here's Gresda. Cross cut finding a one. Our field to Davis. Out to Wallace who couldn't control it. Here's Goldson. Gresda again to our field. Gresda. Oh, nice slip ball into Tavernier. Oh, Lafferty. Kyle Lafferty. The substitute for Defoe comes on and scores. Look at this ball down the channel. Good ball by Gresda. Tavernier hits the defender. And then comes back to Lafferty. Just easiest job in the world just to place it in. Has Kyle Lafferty been improving in training? Uh, on Fleur and off the ball he has pace, stamina and dribbling. He's... He's gotten a little bit worse. Katic to our field. Goldson. Plays it forward to Lafferty. <laughs> He's on again. Oh, shoots. Oh. oh, saved twice by the keeper. 
We have a corner. Here's Davis now. Putting that one in. Adam Bogdan saves it. I'm resisting the urge to make uh, changes unless I absolutely need to. To try and keep the same um, players on there to get them used to playing with each other. And get them winning, improving the ratings as well, the form. Uh, also helps with the fitness. And we're pressing them, that's a good thing. The yeah, Arfield's moving back into midfield now. Agupong comes forward, Davis tackles him. Good tackle that. Kent onto Morelos. Steps inside, shoots. Oh, what a finish. Alfredo Morelos, 4 0. That's his 20th goal of the season. What a goal to make it his 20th. Good assist by Ryan Kent. Good tackle by Steve Davis. Look at it, he just steps inside the defender there. Right foot finish to the far corner. Despairing dive of the keeper, couldn't get it. 4 0. Oh, well done, boys. It's Tavernier, it's Gresda, Arfield, out to Wallace, shot, um, not shot, he's crossed, sorry, he's blocked, Davis to Katic, on to Golson in the middle, plays on a through ball for Arfield, gives it to Tavernier, whips a crossing, Ryan Kent, oh, 5-0, Ryan Kent, 10th goal of the season, he's in double figures now, the lad, oh, get in. I love this 4-2-4 formation. Just puts the wingers so much further forward that the full backs have to come and support. Um, and you have your two midfielders holding in that midfield there, but um, the strikers get so much service. And I'd, I'd rather, you know, have high scoring games and perhaps sacrifice them defensively. Uh, Morelos was fouled there. Ah. Oh. Played the full time whistle, we didn't get to see the result of that. Well, we had 22 shots, 13 on target, and 58% of the possession. Uh, Ryan Kent, two goals, 9.5 out of 10. Amazing performance by him. And yeah, very, very happy with that. I think we've got to, got to be happy with that one. Look at the morale on the players and look at the ratings. You know, that's pretty decent. Um, so Tavernier, Steve Davis, Ryan Kent, Alfredo Morelos all assisted one. Uh, Kent got two, Morelos got two, Lafferty got one. Happy days, happy, happy, happy. Play very well, boys. Well done. Ooh, let's see where that puts us in the league now. Uh, so we're third. There we are. 43 points. Five points behind Aberdeen, but we have a game in hand. We're three points behind Celtic with the same amount of games. Um, so like I say, although we've lost four, we've won 14. The same number as Celtic. Um, so I'd rather be more attacking, particularly in this league um, as well. Look at that, Celtic lost 3-1. Deary me. Livingston, bottom of the league, beat Dundee 2-0. That would be another shock in the league, that would. And Hamilton beat Hearts. That was another shock. Hamilton won 4-1 four, four away from home. Uh, let's see, Motherwell, Kilmarnock, high-scoring game. High-scoring one there, Rangers, Hibernian. <laughs> So yeah, the two Saints went at it, St. Mirren and St. Johnston, they drew. Um, yeah, so we're looking pretty good. Looks like we're, we're just starting to get a bit of form together now, as you can see here. Um, four wins in a row. Uh, lost a couple, bit of a yo-yo thing there. But we had six wins in a row before that little six game. Or five game spell um, and then yeah we, we're doing all right we're picking up a lot of victories we're gonna win uh, quite a few but we'll lose the odd one uh, with Celtic at home next <laughs> and that's in <laughs> in three days from now <laughs> so uh, that's gonna be a big one so make sure you uh, subscribe for that um, five-star Rangers triumph 
and there you go there's the round up classy Kent on form superb mate perfect morale um, influential player and just smash a burning as the run goes on there you go five matches we've won in a row and we're going to play Celtic who just lost 3-1 so uh, that's me hope you all uh, come back for the next game it is a big one it is uh, the old firm so <laughs> the old firm derby uh, and we we did win the cup against them as well we won the Betfred cup so they're going to want vengeance let's see how we do against them alright take care I'll see you all in the next video bye